All right, guys, Jim and Troy back. It's breakfast, or meal one. Meal one. You guys might call it breakfast. Uh, if you do more than three meals a day, it's meal one. Um, hopefully they're doing more than three meals a day. So. At least five. Yeah, that's the way to do it right. Um, we're gonna show you, when it comes down to it, success is about preparation. Um, you need to be prepared to be successful. One of the best things you can do when it comes to fitness is getting your diet in check. So prep, preparing gets you there. Prepping for the entire week is going to allow you to grab your meals and go. No matter what's going on, you've got your food ready, you can put it down. Um, then all it is is it's on you to just eat it. So right now, like I said, we're going to do meal one. This is a tough one for most people because it's usually eggs or egg whites. Um, and well, how do you prep that for anything other than just the day? Um, well, we're going to show you one route. And thing to remember, everybody wants the nice six pack abs. Abs aren't made at the gym. They're made in the kitchen. Right here. It starts with the prep. That's it. So Troy showed me this handy little trick. It's a lifesaver. All right. We're going to be able to prep for an entire week. We're going to take our little plastic bag. Number one, what we got? Broccoli. Broccoli. Broccoli's good. You want to fit your macros. Macros are always key in a diet. Broccoli, I'm not weighing this out. I'm not measuring it. It's it's broccoli. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Onion. We love onion. Right, Troy? You gotta have flavor. That's right. Everybody thinks you have to diet and be bland with your food. Not true. Not at all. Here. A little bit of uh, salt and garlic powder. Toss a little in there. A little pepper. And then, I personally, I've got the macro room and I like it. Ground turkey sausage. You gotta make it fit yours. I do two ounces. Do it for a little while. You'll have an idea of how much it is. So I'm going to throw in about two ounces worth. All right. And then egg whites. Egg whites. Who doesn't do egg whites? You'll eat a lot of egg whites. You don't like them? Learn to love them because you're going to use them. I do five in mine. Troy gets about five as well. That's three. And then a couple more. And we're set. This is one day. All right. We're going to do a separate bag for each day. Press the air out. Zip it closed. We're going to show you the rest here in a few minutes. Yeah. All right. So we've got all of our bags done up. Now it's just time to cook it. Boiling. A couple pots of boiling water. Now, your time's just gonna vary depending on how many eggs you've got in each bag and how many bags you're doing, but I'm gonna put four in here and three in there. Now, for mine, because I've done it a few times, I know I need 25 minutes. You'll have to play with yours. My wife, she does three. It takes about 15 minutes for hers. She'll do just... All right, guys, we're back. Uh, eggs are all done, 25 minutes later. We had a little accident in this one, so all we did is we, uh, a couple of the bags popped open a little bit. Uh, just grab a new bag, you know, open the other one, slide your eggs out, put it in the new bag, finish boiling it. So, pull all these out, show you one here. If the water gets in there, it's not going to hurt it. It'll actually, when you swap it out of the bag to warm it up, just pour the water off, it'll be fine. Absolutely. I'm going to grab me one more plate out of there. I'll throw one on here so we can kind of show them. Now, if you're unsure, once you're, you know, when you're trying to figure out how long to cook these, just, uh, oh, and I just tore a hole in that bag. Um, just take your eggs in the bag, and you've got a big loaf, and just press on it. And if it's not done, you're going to see raw egg kind of scored off the side. These are all done. They're nice and firm. Good to go. When you guys 
go to heat these up the next day, whatever day you're pulling them out, microwave them, get them nice and warm. They're not rubbery, they're great. So, but you're prepped. Once again, it's all preparation. Right over there we got Troy's meat. Got a week's worth of almost of meat. We got a week's worth of eggs. There you go. Now we're just gonna do, you know, veggies, do your carbs, whatever else, portion it out, and you're set. One other thing I want to talk about too, real quick. Wanna grab it? Snacks. Troy likes snacks. I know Troy likes snacks. I like snacks a lot. I like snacks too. Now you open my fridge, it's a normal family fridge. You're gonna see things in there that are no no's. Yeah. Cookie dough? No. You know? Now, one of my favorites, pickled eggs. You ever wake up in the night hungry as shit? I wake up hungry as fucking hell. Yep. <clears throat> figure out your macros, figure out a snack. Pickles. These are great, proteins and a little bit of fats at night. Pickles. Pickles, yeah. A little pickles. Rebecca loves pickles. I get a lot of pickles for my last show prep. The ones I could eat that my kids didn't eat, but yeah, pickles, great. No calories, no carbs. But there's something that, especially at the crunch. Bud Light? No. But it, actually, really, it's not that great for beer either. But <laughs> That's for the kids. All right, so <laughs> then you'll see it. I mean, typically, yeah, it's for the kids. <laughs> we drink the real stuff. The kids get the beer. Um, pack yourself meals, you know? And that's what you, sh you should see is whether you do it like my wife does, where she's got days of bags and she's got meals separated. You got eggs, you got your chicken, and you got your rice for each meal, whatever it is. If you want to package it out that way and grab those, great. If you want to go in and do more like me, where pop it open, I got some pasta and, and some uh, lean pork loin. And that one, I've got some with chicken, I've got some with steak, all, you know, I've got some with carbs, some with veggies, depending on what it is, so I can pop up and grab what I got for my meals, throw them in my lunchbox, and go for the day. Um, Preparation. That's what it's all about. All right. So, like I said, for our next video, we'll do some grill, do some alternate options if you don't have the big grill. Some of you guys might live in apartments or something like that where you don't have access to the big nice grill. So, we'll show you some tricks on how to bake, use your stove top, and still get decent. Use a rice meat. cooker or a slow cooker. Yeah. Right. Uh, so you still get that meat that's not dried out. Everybody thinks, well, if I bake it, it's dry. And I'll tell you right now, I never eat boiled chicken. Everybody thinks that's what the bodybuilders eat is boiled chicken. You don't have to go that route. No. You can, there's always alternatives. There's ways to make things decent. So we're going to show you tips and tricks that are going to help you be successful doing what you want to do. Of course, once again, we're also going to teach you a lot of different things. Not just with this, we're going to teach you about macros, we're going to teach you about diet, we're going to teach you about working out. Um, we also love to hear from you. So, question and answers, give us your questions, we'll give you answers. And you can find us on Facebook, um, Instagram, we got a Twitter account, we're even on Pinterest and Tumblr. So, any of our social media sites, feel free to send us a message, do a direct message, we'll reply back to you. If it's something a little more complicated, go talk to Jim down at the gym. Um, we'll give her a phone number and we'll go from there. Um, yeah, drop the slime. Uh, if you got really great questions, uh, we feel like it's an in-depth thing, we'll do more videos of those as well. So, all right. all right, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.